right so hey guys ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips in today's tutorial guys i'll try, try to show you on the s22 as you can see here this is s22 so i apply to the s22 s22 plus s22 ultra and of course this tutorial has to do with the permission manager on your device so in other words i'm going to show you how to easily manage permissions on your device this applies to the 22 it also applies to all the devices s20 s10 um s20 21 and so on all right so if you have any of these newer devices, they should apply. So of course, as you know, every app on your device needs permission for specific tasks. Uh, in most cases, in order to grant a permission, I may grant a permission to individual apps. I can always go to settings, apps, and then find what permissions the app has. But I'm gonna show you an easier way to manage your permissions. All right, so let me first show you the usual way that we usually go. We go to settings, we usually go to apps, as I just mentioned. So usually we go into apps, we usually go to apps once we're in apps next what we do is to choose any particular app so let's say airbnb here then usually if we look on here we see permissions and you'll see it says only nearby devices allow through bluetooth but it doesn't allow any of these that it can ask for all right so those are the typical and usually it um these are the ones that are there now of course i'm going to show you another way which is way more detail all apps usually have a similar setup like that one so in order to um Control all permissions in an easier way. Go to settings. Next, you're going to go to privacy. And I find this one is easier. Go to permission manager. Now, this one is the reverse. And what it does in permission manager is allows you to choose basically a particular feature of your device and see all the apps that has connection to that particular um, feature. So let's say, for example, if we were to look for um, camera, you notice here, sorry, if we were to look for a camera, not call log, sorry, I missed. You'll notice here it says these are allowed all the time. No app is allowed all the time according to my permission. Allowed only while in use. And you can see Bixby, camera, do messenger, or messages, phone, telegram, WhatsApp. All right. And not allowed. Uh, you can see these are all the apps that are not allowed. There's a whole list. So from here, if I wanted to, I could grant permission by finding an app. Alright, so for example, if one of these are not allowed, I could say Brave, for example, and I can say allow while using, or I can say ask every time, or do not allow. So as you can see here, each app is specifically listed and it's easier. If you have one that's already granted, I can always go in, and then of course, I can also look at all the apps, all the permissions for that particular app, or I can just revoke permissions. It's much easier to manage permissions from this area here, where you see all of the areas that um, apps can access and you can keep an overall eye on every particular app on what specifically it's asking to use on your device all right so this one is much easier most people know the other way through a specific app but i so only i like the permission manager which makes things much easier all right so i'm in this tutorial here as always guys regarding from blog tech tips see you until next time bye